Awesome Toad 21 here, and yes, I did have some issues on my last Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge Android Oreo update video. Apparently, I had a bunch of sound issues. So, let's hope for the best, and let's get right to this, because this is an entirely new video, because apparently the sound issues were within the video itself, which means I couldn't fix it without going through a lot of time and having a lot of money to try to fix that. But let's get right into the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge Oreo update. So looking around, I do notice we have these bit of the icon imagery change-ups here and here. Looking around here, we do have a newer game launcher. Looking at the aesthetics of it, this has been changed. This was a circular and Android Nougat. And that little battery module has also looked slightly different from what it did in Android Nougat. But looking around here, we also have these open circular swipey thingies. I don't know the exact name for them, but those are completely solid color in Android Nougat. So there's a good comparison right there. But let's see what else do we notice. So this bunch of apps. We do have a new gallery logo, Galaxy Apps logo, Messages logo. So they have a complete icon change up. We can see more of them here in the Samsung menu with the newer screen here. Another thing I notice is the power off button. Oops, gotta hold that. Power off has a different change up in mode there. Get that fingerprint going. So looking around, we do have quite a bit of an aesthetical change. Performance, I'll go over in a later video and compare and see if it's actually faster or slower between the two. But let's go ahead and go into settings and see what we can do. So this little guy here, that is added. That is a contact. So it gives you all of your personal information and stuff like that. Looking around here, we do have the newer updated app icon wall, is what I would call it, with new features and stuff like that. So you can go to the wallpapers and themes that used to go to a different place and now brings you right to Samsung themes. Let's go ahead and get that fixed up on that video so you can see it better. So this is just your themes based setup here. Nothing too excited. Most of it's paid content, which means you've got to buy a lot of that stuff. So I prefer to use Zedge right there. That's mostly free. Just got to deal with a couple ads here and there. And that's about it. But looking around, looking at the aesthetical change ups, nothing too much important here. Let's go ahead and check out that Easter egg and see if it's the Android 8 Easter egg. So here is that. Uh, messaging telling me that I've updated to Android Oreo so you can see right there and let's go ahead and go to about phone looking around here let's go to software information Android version hold that okay that's something stubborn we'll go to here and we got this octopus guy we know him Wah! we know him and that other uh, Note 8 video of mine. So that uh, octopus guy, pretty good. So let's look around here if we have any new features. So this edge lighting, apparently you turn it on and off. I see no difference in the edge lighting. I don't know if you see any difference, but from my personal eye, there's no difference there. This phone visibility will access contact, so you can literally self you can turn off location and stuff, I believe, with that. Uh, the Smart View, let's check that out. So this is a new screen mirroring device, so I don't have any... Oh, apparently it's connecting to my Roku. I'll do a video on that later. So, the Roku I have in my room is pretty good. It's a good one, and it works pretty good. I'll do a video on that, show you around. Completely, almost, uh, avoids my entire... TV antenna, try to get screw the FCC kind of thing I've been telling you about here and there throughout my channel lately. This kind of outweighs that because I get Chicago stuff, so good for me. Good for me. But let's see, what else can we do? So looking around, memo, I don't think memos change. No, it's the same old memo you ever see. Looking around and phone dialer. So let's get out of here, phone dialer. Blur all that out for you. So I don't see much here at uh, phone dialer, but let's go into some of the negatives on this device. So what I noticed is we also have the the signature 
galaxy, new galaxy swipe up, swipe down to the icon drawer action. But I also notice you swipe down to get it and swipe up to get it with the extra app drawer here. So that may be an issue because I've, all, I've had problems in the past with Samsung phones, including this one right here, that if you go into it, it will, like if you put it in your pocket and I'm out mowing grass with my music, it'll keep button buttons jiggling around in my pocket. And next thing you know, I have one more attempt to get my password right, or it wipes. Or I've called some of my contacts before. So, just to warn you, this might be an issue for you on this. I might want to recommend downgrading if it's in your pocket all the time. Because I do know, possibly, I'll put the warning out there, it has a small chance of calling emergency services. Meaning 911 or police departments and stuff. Which you will have a really interesting conversation if you say... I called you, and I had no clue I called you because my phone was in my pocket. They're going to look at you like, what the hell? So, just to warn you out there, that's my only negative, really, on this update. It seemed to be a bit buggy when you turn it on and off, but it seems to be working just fine right now. We'll see what it does in a couple of months. And, to ah, whatever, whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. And to end this video... This, this is awesome toad 21 here subscribe to my YouTube I'll channel you. check out my oh shut up check out my YouTube channel subscribe and as always have a nice day and for today's extra content we have Google singing us a lullaby okay Google okay Google okay Google here are some things you can do when your phone's offline. What do you mean I'm offline, you son of a... This is being stupid right now. This is probably the worst. Things you can do when your phone's offline. I have full data. Sing me a lullaby. Okay. Some things you can do when your phone's I am not offline. Okay. Okay. Shut the hell up. Ah, don't make me drop test you. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. There we go. Well, there's your extra content. Me arguing with Google singing to me.